Well, first off, I want to start by saying I'm not a YouTube blogger. I just play one on YouTube. And, oh, yeah, I guess you can see that dog cage in the back. Don't worry about that. I got a Modesto girl coming over later. It is what it is. So, basically, I want to do this blog because I've always wanted to do an online blog where I type something out. But I never thought people would actually read it. So, I'm going to try doing video because I see a lot of guys that do commentating on here. And I kind of want to emulate that. My issue with them is that a lot of people don't seem to have life experience because whenever they talk crap about Brendan Schaub or Joe Rogan or Howard Stern, it's always their opinion and you can tell their opinion is not really based on anything. And me, I've actually lived a long life. I mean, come on, need we say more? But basically, all the stories you guys tell and the stuff you guys report on, you have your opinions and you always seem to refrain from yes and you never contribute to the story because you guys don't have any life experience and you know it's true don't deny it and I'm on here to to talk about stuff like this because I have a lot of experience I mean let's start out with Brennan Schaub are you guys mad at him because he's an alpha are you mad at him because you think his comedy sucks or is it both or are you just jealous because I'm going to hit you with a dose of reality right now stand-up comedy isn't what you think it is people get their friends on shows or if somebody can bring a lot of people to the crowd and pay a lot of money for tickets and chicken wings and popcorn and crap, they'll get that person on a show. The funniest person won't always get a showcase or even get a spot on a comedy show. It's always somebody's friend. And let's face it, Brendan Schaub skipped the line. It's a fact. But because he had panache, A, he's a tall, good-looking guy, he probably fights women off with a stick every night, and... He was friends with the right people, and he just so happened to be on The Ultimate Fighter, and he was in the UFC. He was a mixed martial artist. The guy had something to sell, so people put him on stage. I always hear comedians complaining about YouTubers going on comedy clubs during the week, you know, Monday through Wednesday or Thursday, and they're making a crap load of money, and they're selling more tickets than actual stand-up comedians. There's a reason for that, because stand-up comedians think that by their merits, by their hard work, they're going to make it. Maybe some. But a lot of them are just a bunch of rich kids who've got nothing better to do than go talk about their you-know-what at a stand-up comedy club or an open mic or something because they don't want to get a real job because their parents are footing the bill. I got news for you. If you're living in Hollywood, you can't afford the rent doing open mics or doing showcases here and there and maybe going on the road once or twice a year, if that. Your parents are paying the bills. That's just the way it is. That's a fact. To Get over it. It's life. Rich kids are always going to slide by. They're always going to skate. That is a fact of reality. And getting back to Brendan Schaub, like I said, he's a tall, good-looking dude. Whether you think it's wrong or bad, even if you don't even know the facts that he's cheating on his wife, it's immaterial. I have an identical twin brother who's married. I'm not married, by the way. I have an identical twin brother who's married. He's got a wedding ring on his finger. Whenever I go places with him, females just gravitate towards him. And I'm sitting here like chopped liver because I don't have a ring on my finger because I don't look valuable to them. But my brother does. Why? Because he's married. Now look at Shop. He's a tall, good-looking guy. He tells jokes at the stand-up comedy clubs and does the specials and whatnot. And they probably see that wedding ring on his finger and said, oh, wow, this guy's a catch. Maybe I can turn him. That's just what women do. Get used to it. If you've never had a female drool over you, tough noogies. That's life. Quit complaining about Brendan Schaub. Why don't you go do some jokes? Go tell some jokes. Write five minutes of material. Go to an open mic and people like you. Maybe they'll book you on a showcase. Give it a shot. Quit complaining about Brendan Schaub. The guy's out there making it and you're not. And what's the issue there? You're not making it. I'm pointing. Here I go. You're not making it. And whose fault is that? Is that Brendan Schaub's fault? Is that Joe Rogan's fault? Is that Showtime's fault? Is that YouTube's fault? Whose fault is it? It's yours. If you're sitting here talking on this camera all the time, and you're sitting in your basement going, hey, hey, man, Brendan Schaub, it's your fault. Get over it. That's a fact. Yeah, go ahead and flame me in the comments. I don't care. I work for a contracting company in the East Bay. I'm going to be good. And for those of you who don't know, the East Bay of California is one of the richest places in the world. I'm set. Okay, I stopped doing stand-up comedy a couple years ago because it wasn't worth the grind to me. And plus, I have family members to take care of. I can't be going down to Hollywood and San Francisco all the time trying to tell jokes for five minutes in a dusty old comedy club. And here's another thing about comedy clubs you guys may not know about. They don't care about the Monday through Thursday performer. They'll give you five minutes here and there, but they're never going to give you a weekend because you're not a headliner. You don't mean anything to them. You're not going to make any money for them. 
You guys need to learn reality before you're on here spouting crap. Look, I'm almost five minutes talking trash about you guys, but this is crap you should already know. But what's the issue? You don't have any life experience. You just know you read your computer every day, you read your news on your phone, and that's life to you. Get out and do something. Grab a microphone, talk some crap, and guess what? You could be the next Brandon Schaub. And you might even be funny.